Welcome to this video on F5 Telemetry Streaming. The Telemetry Streaming extension is part of the F5 automation tool chain that includes Application Services 3, Declarative Onboarding, and more. See clouddocs.f5.com for more information on Big IP extensibility. In this video, we're going to show you a quick overview of Telemetry Streaming. Telemetry Streaming is a way for you to forward events and statistics from your Big IP system to your preferred data consumer and visualization application. You can do all of this by posting a single JSON declaration to a declarative REST API endpoint. Here is a very basic diagram that illustrates what telemetry streaming does at a high level. Along with this diagram, you can see a basic declaration. When you send the declaration, telemetry streaming sets up a system polar and an event listener. A system polar pulls a system such as the Big IP on a configurable interval for information such as device statistics, virtual server statistics, pool statistics, and more. The telemetry streaming event listener, such as TCP, can accept push events in a specific format and process them. For Big IP, this means that telemetry streaming can accept syslog-like events from the Big IP system modules like LTM, AFM, ASM, and APM. Please note that these modules must be configured outside of telemetry streaming using AS3 or a different method. The consumer accepts information from disparate systems and provides the tools to process that information. The documentation contains example configurations for consumers like Splunk, Azure Log Analytics, AWS, and more. So what does this all look like? Here is an example Azure dashboard and you can see that it shows you count of attack types, memory usage, count of unique source IPs, and application RTT, for example. You can find more example configurations in the documentation that include multiple system polars, for example, multiple big IP systems, and multiple consumers. For up-to-date information on telemetry streaming, see the documentation on clouddocs.f5.com or the GitHub page.